All right, uh, we are now joined uh, by Johannesburg Public Safety MMC, Dr. Mdrini Chaku, uh, for the latest on what the city is doing to give shelter to the displaced residents of the building uh, that was gutted uh, by fire in the Johannesburg CBD. This is on the back of some residents saying that they fear going to the shelters in fear of de deportation and others in hope of returning to uh, the building. A very good evening uh, to you, MMC. Thanks very much uh, for joining us here on it's uh, ABC Flo? News, sir. Hi. No, good, good evening, Flo, and good, new, and, and good evening to you. All right, let, let's start there then. So concerning, I mean, it's the story, it's, it's a sad story on top of other sad news, but, you know, quite concerning that there are actually uh, some people who hope to return uh, to uh, this building. Uh, what are you saying uh, to this, and, and, and what has been decided about uh, this building altogether? Okay, now Flo, currently, remember most that building is still a crime scene right now. Yeah. So even today, there were some sniffer dogs just to ensure that we don't have any bodies that are left behind. Yeah. And yes, indeed, there were some people who were gathering outside, as I did go there today, mm -hmm. and in hope that what they wanted to do and they were begging to do is they still believe that there are some of their belongings that are there that did not get bent, like your TVs and some blankets and some of their belongings. Yeah. So I was speaking now to the director of that region, Chaka, to say, look, we might have to lobby and talk to the mayor and also the city manager, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. We might, um, because the, the scene at least it might be um, you know, a bit cleaner at that, and the, the guys, I mean, there is probably one, um, there is probably a draft report in terms coming from the fire safety, which will be prepared in terms of what are the probable causes of that. So the, the investigation are almost, almost done. So yeah. I think that the, the thing, the guys are able to really maybe we can accompany them maybe one by one to look at the rooms and see if they can salvage anything. But it's a, it's a discussion that we'll have in the morning because I'm, I'm afraid that they're all going to come there and then storm in so, so that we don't have any... Uh, sort of, you know, stampede there or, yeah. you know, people just want to budge in. So, yes, indeed, there are people who just want to go. They just want to go and get their, uh, uh, you know, something that they can, you know, sure. you know, as well as the GS, that, that's all. But everyone now has been put on, on, self, on, 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 the, self, on, on, on the shelters. There yeah. are three, 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 I think there are three or four of them. And then you've got all the, you know, the donations are there. You've got the people, the givers, the doctors the doctors without borders yeah. you've got a lot of them yes they they they, they dropped a lot of food there mmc um we're talking about a lot of people in crisis uh, at the yeah. moment um can you give us a rough estimate you know when it comes to you know the, the numbers that we're dealing with the people that have actually displaced um at this time i mean you know some of the reports were even indicating that you know in some of those um in, in some of those rooms you people had even almost built like almost a, some sort of a squatter camp within um, uh, that that flat. So, I mean, I, I would imagine it's difficult to sort of quantify, uh, you know, yeah, exactly, yeah. you know, the number of people that we're talking about here. But, but I mean, I, I would assume you'd have to have an idea because you know, shelter needs to be provided. Yeah. Yeah. yeah look, the, the 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 yesterday, if you remember, people were talking at the range of about four hundred that yeah. people are displaced. Yeah. Today, the, the the number that we were seeing and everything is about 100, 120, so in, the, in, those, in those hundreds. Mm. Remember, the others will not, um, would are just going to go and find a different accommodation because they are afraid that they will be taken away. Yes. You know, yeah, so, um, yeah, so the ones that are there now looking at the 120, so, but we had a make home uh, to, to today to, to you now we have actually received a technical report and the report in terms of what has been happening, I think tomorrow the CM will give now a, a detailed clarity in terms of everything, in terms of the findings, uh, the people who are displaced. And also remember, where we've actually placed them is that um, it's a temporary accommodation. So there is a, a plan uh, that, the, that the city is working on, working um, I mean, with the private sector and then all of that. So there have been a lot of options where we can put to these people but currently, what I can say to each and every one of individuals that that building is closed. It's yeah. going to go for renovation, and no one must try anything 
We're putting a tight security even there. MMC, I know that, um, you know, and you've touched on it now briefly, that some people are scared, you know, of being taken away. Um, you know, yeah. they've mentioned that they're yeah. worried about deportations and, and, and so forth. And um, it might be insensitive, you know, at this point to discuss uh, that issue, but it's a reality, isn't it? And I know I'm placing it possibly on the wrong door with you here. I know it's a, uh, you know, law and order issue, um, you know, home affairs sort of issue, yeah. policing issue. But I would imagine you, you know, you have some sort of idea. Was that is that not a, a priority, I'd say, at this point then? No, no, at this point in time, look, we, we must not be sensitive. Let's just get, you know, because remember, we've got bodies that we need to identify. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, we have to run some DNA tests and all of that. Maybe with one of the people that in the shelters might be related to the individual who was actually, you know, we, we were actually passed on. At this point in time, that's not actually a priority. We need to accommodate each and every individual that is a victim of that fire. Yeah. We have to show, you know, so really um, we even told the other guys that they must come in, they must come back, they must just say, because some of them, you know, they were running away with kids and little kids and all of that. We had to tell them that, look, go there, nothing is going to happen with you at point in time and all of that. So as a city, we've actually shown a compassion. We, what we need to do right now is to ensure that each and every body has been accounted for. Yeah. And just, just in closing, it must be sent back home and all of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Just in closing, MMC. You know, I I, I heard from a victims' uh, family that you know they've heard that the process of identification, um, you know, might take months. And you know, you're talking about being sensitive to the issue and and, and trying yeah. to, uh, you know, um, help families. And 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 for me, that's not being necessarily very sensitive yeah. um, to make people wait to know if their loved ones have perished um, for for months. Um, on end and we know if usually and you know and this is critical I know but usually if you say if you give a time frame of three months when we're dealing with government it's sometimes more than that isn't it what what I we thought about that the only thing that we can do as a city is to appeal to the national government that I think that the DNA testing and the biometrics should be made a priority yeah because now this is a national crisis really and it has been you know, it, 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 it is really uh, um, not, it is actually very, 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 very bad. So we need to prioritize the DNA test and, and the biometrics and, and, and the identification of the loved one. Maybe even if it means that uh, some of the people in other countries, they have an idea that one of their, they, uh, you know, their son or daughters have come to the side. Um, you know, we need to, you know, see if we can, you know, uh, you know that they can come to the side identify you know, their loved ones and, and, and all that, so that we're able to put a closure on them. So yes, I did with you. I think I hope that you know the, the police uh, and minister, they will open all the forensic labs and then this matter can be put as a priority. All right. Dr. Mtlini, we appreciate your time, sir. No, thank you very much. Thanks for us. All right. Good sure. Night. All right, good Bye. night. Uh, Joburg uh, Public Safety MMC, Dr. Mgrini Chwaku, uh, speaking to us, of course, on uh, the latest on uh, the uh, Joburg uh, City 5, of course, tragic uh, story uh, there. And certainly some people uh, at this point being worried about uh, being uh, displaced. But uh, as we hear from MMC, all of that uh, currently then being addressed.